Like he runs and go gets in the water. Yeah, we need a juice guy. Um, I'm recording. Fuck you. Stop. Stop. Stop speaking. Um, hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the podcast. Um, this is the first time that we've done this. It's a big moment in in our history, which is not very long or very good, to be honest. Um, I'm Zach. If for those of you who don't know, um, uh, I guess I'll just say that much. So let me pass this really quick. I'm Jake. How's it going? I'm Duncan. They call me Billy. My name's John. And you're going to be seeing a lot of that when anybody has anything to say. Um, so let's start off real quick. Has anybody done anything like this before? Because it is a new concept. You, 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 yeah. 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 So I worked in my high school's TV station, and I had my own segment called Between Two Ferns with Duncan Kingsbury, and um, not at all related to Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis. Bullshit. Oh, really? Yeah. How did you come up with the name? Well, I was in a chair, and then there was a fern to my left and a fern to my right. What type of things did you talk about? I kind of just made fun of the people I was with. Oh, okay. Perfectly original. Yeah, but also talking about the school, I mean, like, stuff everyone cares about, you know, like, sports. No, no. Here. Fuck you, then, Fuck you. I, I'm so sorry. But... All right, now that that's over. Um, so we're here to sort of talk about just things in general. Um, I, I guess we should probably start talk, you know, about uh, how this all started, how this monster came to be. Um, how did it come to be? That's what I, I, I can never actually answer that myself. It, oh, yeah, yeah, it was Billy, actually, who came up with the name Cluster Fox. It was actually supposed to be Butt Fox. Do you remember that? What? Oh, my God. That was the trivia night. You're right. It that was, wasn't our name in the trivia game. Yeah. It was, um... Oh, no, we were the, no, we were the Hildos. Our original idea, that's what the name came The Butt Fox. Yeah. The butt yeah. Fox. Yeah. yeah, no, so long... Yeah, because it was GTA. We wanted to be the the butt fox but rockstar said that was too inappropriate yeah. rockstar telling us was appropriate or not i know i know i'm saying it um but so then we changed it to the cluster fox and then this sort of just kind of spiraled out of control i don't i where but so we played gta we didn't record anything or anything like that no. yeah it was just, that that is where the logo came from the original uh original original. which actually does not have a fox in it uh no it had a bear because there's no fox in the uh, bear with logo arms. Or, Editor. Yeah, that's true. There's. But <gasps> I know what our logos could be. We're gonna do. No, have you, have you ever seen those pictures with the birds with arms? We should do yes. That no, fox. those things are Very fucking nice. hilarious. I'll work on it this weekend. See, that's how, that's how magic happens. Yeah. Yeah. A fox with arms. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That sounds so creepy. Go <laughs> oh. work. Um. So we so we started this in GTA, which is a weird place to start anything. Um, and, and and so how do we how do we get to this point? How do we get to being on your the movie. on the internet? My movie. Yeah, oh, yeah. Start yeah. off with your movie. Uh, Gilded Promise. Gilded Gilded Promise. You guys, yeah. oh, you all oh see? God, let's talk about Gilded Promise, Zach. <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> um, all right. So here's the deal with Gilded Promise. Wait, can, are we allowed? To talk oh, we are absolutely allowed to talk already. about it. Yep. Okay, just yeah. Just want to make sure. Yes. Yes, we're absolutely allowed to well, talk about it. We can't leak anything about the scripts because you sold it. You have no rights to it. True. We can't talk anything about... Is the, it even called Gilded Promise anymore? I don't fucking know. Maybe. Well, got, like, put on a shelf somewhere. Yeah. Like, I already know hey, right now that it's it's going to be the new no, Alvin and the no, Chipmunks movie, isn't it? I've heard it's the new Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> they, they, oh, yeah. they actually took Gilded Promise and renamed it The Hateful Eight. Um, and then it was then it was leaked. Um, and it's <clears> not even going to fucking happen. I know. That's yeah. so sad. Um, Hold on. Was it called the Hateful Eight because of the Magnificent Seven? Maybe. I really. I, I I would. I, well, I do have Quentin Tarantino on speed dial, so I can't ask him if you want me to. Can Word. I love your sarcasm. Can you hear nothing? <laughs> you can't hear anything. What? Right, that whole gotta, thing? We gotta. How much? How much haven't you heard? I've heard? I hear when you talk. And then I hear yeah, because no one's fucking talk. passing the mic around. I can't see you. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't even notice you. I don't like to look at Devin mainly because he's Jewish, but uh, that's just who. Uh, this is the first how I'm working out the. I'm Jewish, so. 
Cluster oh, Fox, brought to you by the Aryan Union. So yeah, we'll do some more mic passing like this. Fuck you, Devin. So yeah, what were we talking about? We're talking about, we're talking about Guild of Promise. Guild of Promise. We were. Well, I mean, then why the hell did we pass the mic? You're the one who wants to talk about Guild of Promise. All right. All right. Well, somebody had a sentiment down at the other end. Anyway, that was you. It was the fuck you, Devin? Do you not remember that? No. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Devin is our wonderful camera op for this evening. Um, so yeah, Guild of Promise, uh, what? So we, we just wanted to make a movie, I guess. That was what we wanted to do. We just were bored and we wanted to make one. We wanted to be stars! Yes, we wanted to be stars, said Duncan. Um, and so I wrote the script. Actually, the, pre the premise for that came from you. From me when we, me and, and Zach were walking down to GameStop to buy Grand Theft Auto. That's when I, we came up with the idea for the movie. Yes. <laughs> Funny story. Wait, 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 wait. What? How many of our projects have been Billy's idea? Uh, I think almost the whole thing. Why the fuck do I look to you for ideas? I should be talking to fucking Billy. I have no <laughs> substance. I just, I just get ideas. Uh, yeah, well, the show was all <laughs> Zach wrote substance. the whole movie, so. Billy, come on. Uh, yeah, so I wrote this 65-page script called Guild of Promise, and we had it all cast. We were ready to go. And then Christmas break happened. And <laughs> uh, I sat down with an old buddy of mine, and uh, we started talking. I wanted his notes on the project because I was going to come back and film it. And so I wanted to make sure that everything was up to his standards. I don't know why I looked to him. It was probably a dumb decision in hindsight. Um, and so but he back and forth he go, we go, and, and he likes the script. I like the script. He likes the script more, apparently. And then he works for a small production company and decided to make an offer on the script to buy the rights, to buy you know, the ink, everything. And so basically I sold Gilded Promise for $200, and I bought Christmas gifts with it. So we don't have a movie anymore is what I'm trying to say. And I've been taking a lot of don't have a movie uh this fucking movie come on this fucking movie's been postponed duncan um jewel is on the way jewel is on the way and it'll probably be okay. five years in the making but <laughs> it will come <laughs> we're gonna be 23 years old when it comes out uh it's too early in the writing he has two pages done <clears throat> Now, yeah, just talk about, about the, the, the the night that we found Jewel. Uh, oh, oh, the Jewel night. Oh, the Jewel night. Oh, the night when I started calling him that name. Okay, uh, the story behind Jewel is someone in our dorm, John, was uh, running around shirtless, spewing water on everyone. Wait a minute, and, I didn't do that. Well, Wait, yes, you did. I, I could have so, sworn it was you. I thought it was you. Well, that's... That's all we're gonna say about I that. I think this was I before guess. I knew you guys, so I, yeah, this is the first yeah, yeah. time here. You weren't you weren't moved in. Well, I mean, I was still probably like here, but I don't think I really can realized you guys were doing I, this. I, my, I just have. Okay, let's let's get an accurate. I all right. So this is what was happening. Jake went buck wild, and he decided to take his shirt off and start spewing water on people in the hallway, just throwing it up on them, uh, vomit style. Um, I also was doing the s same thing, only I was faking an ejaculation with a squirt bottle, going, "Oh God!" So, anyway. Uh, Jake starts, it starts to get really out of hand. So now Jake's hiding in the bathroom on the first floor and he'll open the door when somebody passes by and throw up on them and then go back into the door. And now John over here sees this happening and decides that it's his turn or it's his duty to take action and try to thwart this. And he holds the other side of the bathroom door. Now Jake naturally is trying to get out as the sort of caged animal in the darkness that he is and decides to start ripping on the other side of the door handle and now what happens next you literally couldn't write because <laughs> which side came off first of the doorknob your, no, your his side? didn't come off I unscrewed no. his and then it came off okay I didn't know you unscrewed it yeah, I thought I, it just popped off okay so in the right I remember that <laughs> I so I so one side comes off. Jake tries to go back inside the bathroom, shut the door, and try to fix the, the, the lock and pops the other side out. So now it's a locked door with no knob to speak of, and he can't get out. He's trapped. Um, to this day, I believe that is one of the top five funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Can I talk about the second time that I've met Jewel? Yes. Okay. That, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. 
So the second coming of Jewel was basically, I forget what actually started it. I think I went in to hug Jake, but then I twisted his nipples. And I guess that unlocked something. But he went crazy. He screamed at the top of his lungs. So that scared me. I ran back up to my room, locked the door. And then I hear, I think it was Austin. Austin says, John, come outside. I look at my door and it's just covered in these pink post-it notes that have just like, Nobody touches the nips. Out cometh the jewel. I don't know what to write anymore. <laughs> and just weird ass sayings. And that was horrifying. And I stole your bed. He also stole my bed because what I put them on your door to start a prank war. And well, that's, how did it end? I think we wrestled in the hallway. Oh, yeah, I moved his bed into the laundry room, which is down the hall from his room. And that was that was entertaining. I wasn't here for any of that. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. So I have no say. That happens. All right, so, so yeah, so there is a movie that is going to be based on that, if you can believe that. Um, and it, it'll come out in five years, you're saying? Five? Horror movie, yes. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. Oh, no. Horror movie. What? That's what the fuck Jules are based off of? Are yeah. you serious? It's horrifying. You didn't live it. No, uh, okay. Well, like, based also, on the name, I thought Jewel was like a porno. No, uh, <laughs> the thing is, during, during, I didn't know he was starring in it. I thought he was just writing it. During the first one, all the lights were down. And I I don't think I will be playing Jewel. Can I play the main character? Because I feel like that's a little sentimental. Spoil I'm not going to give away any spoilers because I have an idea for the plot. You have an idea for but, the plot. Like... You know, I'll tell you later, but not on a podcast. Okay, all right. I guess I can take that. Yeah, take it. <sighs> okay, what's what's another story that we can tell them? <laughs> <laughs> Bring up jerking off, Duncan. I mean, now that you said it, okay, and uh, Duncan has a jerking off story. I never said that. We can talk about Tom. I, I, the day. Oh, out the window. <laughs> oh, oh, here's a here's a <laughs> Okay, so here at Champlain we have CPS. Fucking sucks. Uh we we run into them a lot. Um no, Okay, okay, maybe not we, me. Okay. <laughs> that, that's more of a basic. And once again, maybe not even me, people I hang out with. So uh a kid that I'm friends with, let's call him Tom. Not his real <laughs> name. Uh so he's running to CBS just a little more than other people, and it kind of sucks. So the other day, CBS comes in, goes right to his room, knocks on his door, and this having been the third encounter with CBS, he was very worried because he didn't want to disappoint his parents or get in any more trouble with the school. So what he does is looks through his peephole, seeing that it's a CBS officer, Screams, no, not fucking again, and jumps out his window, sprints down the street in, I'd say, like, three degree weather. Negative, no. Neg negative, negative degree weather in shorts, a t-shirt, and a flannel, no shoes, all the way down to the waterfront where his friend Cameron lives. How far would you say the, the waterfront is for people who don't live in uh, Burlington? It's around... I'd say that's about four blocks, maybe five, downhill... No shoes, and it's very cold Everybody's and icy. Yeah. Yeah. It's one mile. Yeah, it's it's about one mile. So, and, and I, he must have gotten there in less than five minutes. He must have been on the track team. Yeah, no, and he came in just thinking it was no big deal. He was like, I, I told you guys that's exactly what I was going to do if, if we ever got caught. Just hop right out the window. And th that gave us all quite a laugh because we thought that they were completely fucked. Turns out they just didn't close their window, and they were like, oh close the window it wasn't the window that tom jumped out of either what did he jump out of the other the window other <laughs> the other window <laughs> they have a very convenient window ish room but yeah i mean tom's had quite a week oh hello all right um what else oh let's let's get back to where we were so <clears throat> we had movie ideas um, around. We had Gilded Promise for as long as we did. We have Jewel that's coming out forever. What? What the fuck? Talk about, talk about why we canceled 
this fucking movie of what two people wouldn't do what action. Oh, oh so oh, that's so some guys wouldn't shit on each other for movie. I said that. Duncan, 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 Duncan. I, hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. The, it, it was it wasn't i mean we hit a little bit of a speed bump with the fact that people didn't want to get shit on in a shower in a shower um what really it was was we, it didn't make sense logistically speaking to actually make uh this fucking movie right now um because we'd only had we you know we're in the middle of uh, this is going to date this episode. We're in the middle of making episode two of season one of this fucking guys uh, or these fucking guys. I can't even say it anymore. Um, so a movie right now just wouldn't make logistical sense. Um, and the fact that like, you know, we're trying to focus on getting season one done here and, and, and it just a movie right now just doesn't fit the picture. So um, it was partially that I think people like to make the story better by saying the two guys wouldn't shit on each other in a shower and, and like fight with their dicks and shit. Was so the only scene you had written. Uh, basically. <laughs> I am so erect right now. I am so erect right now. All oh, the things you guys... <laughs> you guys would have loved, loved it. It would have been tippy toppers, but we're, we're never going to get... We'll, we'll, 50 people there. Yeah, the 50, uh, 50 viewers that we have. Thank you. Um, the, quad, the quad on the first floor, this is for you. Um, because you guys love our shit. Um, we're still uh, reviewing the nutsack on the doorknob. Yeah, Tom. Uh, oh, I'm yeah, the nutsack on the doorknob. We're still looking over that. Um, you guys don't know about that because you, 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 you were there. You were there? Yeah, so um, we had some fan suggestions for the show. Um, as you know, we're always looking for ideas, pranks, challenges to do on the show. And uh, and uh, we, we had a couple of members of the quad come in and try to get us to put nutsacks on doorknobs and, like when people wouldn't notice. And it's kind of a real basic thing, so. There's no way they would notice that if the door is closed, you could just do it. Awesome. It, it was a, it was a dumb idea. No, no offense if they're watching, but very stupid. Horrible. So let's touch on something here now. Most of us are mainstays on the so show. Harsh. <laughs> they're giving you constructive criticism, most likely under the influence, and yeah, they're just I, like, no, yeah, I, yeah. If we we didn't shut them down, we're like, oh, okay. But like looking back, like. Why would we put our nut sacks on doors? I, mean, I, don't, know, I don't know how you get your jollies, Jake. Like, I, I've never heard that term you, before. It, it, it's not good enough to be a challenge. Yeah, exactly. Because like all of us could do it, and just like no one would ever know. I, I, I mean, hold on, hold on. But but all things aside, can we still put our nuts on some people's doors? I mean, yeah. Tages. Why? Why do that to Tages? He's a myth. He's I, yeah, I don't even know if he's still in this building. <laughs> he is. <laughs> See him every day. I'd okay, like to well. uh, have the mic, please. You want the mic? Take it. I would just like to point out to our uh, head of PR just sent me a nude picture of one of the twins from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. What? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Rhea? Yes. <laughs> what? Do I have to I have to read it? Oh, oh. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck. For those of you at home, it says, if you want to live the sweet life, hop on my deck. <laughs> I can see pube, Rhea. Oh, I see full... Is that, is that Dylan or Cole? Is that from your Dylan. personal... I, Dylan. I see Dylan... What, what's the last name? Sprouse? <laughs> Dylan Sprouse Bush. Full Bush. I enjoy it. I'm actually kind of jealous that you got that and not me. I mean, I can send it to you. Will you? No. Damn. Well, looks like I'm not jerking off tonight. Oh, that hit me in my tickle spot. Anyway, um, so something I just thought of uh, just right now is, is all of us at this point, I mean, we're halfway through episode two right now, as I said, um, have been on one third, one third excuse me. Um, all of us have been on the show, right? Yeah. You, you guys were on last episode. Me and Billy were on this episode. Now, Duncan, Duncan's a rare case. Duncan's never actually been on the show. Yes, what? No, but that, oh, that's what I'm no, saying. A, that's what I'm a, saying. He hasn't, been in a he, hasn't, he hasn't been in the challenge. He hasn't been a contestant on the show. But the guest stars in your show. Wait, or did we cancel that idea? Oh, the, the room. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We'll, we'll talk later. A lot of my, um, a lot of my 
my own videos from home are actually being imported into episodes. I took them all within like the last year or so. You'll be seeing me at my best and worst. <laughs> Mainly best. And so, erotic. Mainly huh? erotic. Oh, it, it's all erotic. Uh, so be prepared. I hope you like the upcoming stuff. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, so yeah, so Duncan's this sort of, uh, he's like, you're like you know, he can do a little bit of everything. You know, he's been in most of skits for us right now, but would you ever actually be on the show? I mean, some of the challenges are a little weird, but uh, if you want me to, uh, that'd be fine. I wouldn't really care. Um, maybe catch me one of those nights where I just come in randomly. I'll probably give you a good laugh. <laughs> Whoever wants it. So one of those nights that you just randomly come in stoned well, off your balls? That's, that's, well, that's putting, putting labels on things. That's okay, no, no, okay, okay. Those kids threw those rocks at me because I was being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Um, but to answer your question, yeah, when I do drugs and I come in on those drugs, then yes, find me on there. But, John, you don't have to tell them that. I just can Just bleep out this whole section. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, in the uh, topic, uh, Rhea, will you pass me my coat? This one? What are you doing? Don't, don't take it out. No. Oh, I'm, I'm taking it out. <laughs> Everyone knows what's in my coat. But... I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a like a blur over it to make it look like a penis. <laughs> no. Put a picture of a penis on. Can't George Can you put a picture of a penis on? You really can't tell what that is? Is this really happening on our <laughs> show? <laughs> what sort of podcast is this? Oh god. I hope Ben's watching. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure that Devin's experiencing some sort of exorcism at this point. Um, something had possessed him at some point, and that, now that right there was his vinegar stroke. That was his vinegar stroke. He looked like he looked like Creed in a music video on top of a canyon, sort of just screaming at the sky. It was re- it was really quite beautiful. Before I before you go on, I am now imagining Creed from The Office on this mountaintop. <laughs> <laughs> because I, that's immediately what I jumped to instead of the band Creed. I was talking about the band Creed, <laughs> not Old Man Creed from the NBC sitcom, the NBC? NBC yeah. uh, TM. T- TM, trademark, The Office. Um, oh my God, Duncan, I can't believe. Yeah, we, we've gone there. We've gone there already. He's gone there. He's, He's gone, gone there. there. Um, He's playing off most of our fan base. So. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. Um, what else is there? What what else does anybody have anything they'd like to voice any sort of story that they want to bring up anything? Do you want me to just keep holding this? You have something? No. Oh no. Um, no. What else can we talk oh, about? Um, what? Let me tell you about something that happened last weekend. Wait. No, I just probably say it. I don't think it's I don't think it's what you're talking about. Okay. I just want to make sure. A story from Duncan, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, last weekend I was at the um, infamous Pine Place, the one of the one of my favorite party spots in here in Burlington. My friend Conrad lives there. Well, last last weekend was a little special. He had a double header, which was Friday and Saturday night. He had really big parties there. And I went there with my friend Matt Rickloff, and he happened to annoy the hell out of Conrad's roommate who happened to be on a lot of acid. <laughs> I'm not even... Yeah. Okay, so he was on a lot of acid, so he was getting annoyed with Rickloff. Having already not really liking Rickloff, he ended up grabbing him and throwing him down the stairs at it, out of his house, just down the stairs right out, and Rickloff proceeded to sit at the bottom of the stairs, cry, jump up, punch the wall, punch his best friend in the face, and run home, which is three and a half miles away from Pine Place. And they had to get in a car and find him. 
So, Uplifting. yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, but it's funny because I, I was with Rick Loff last night, actually. He respected the shit out of that guy who threw him down the stairs. He was like, I don't even care. I'm not allowed back there ever again. That was funny. And I'm like, Rick Loff, you have some problems. <laughs> you, you have some, Matt, but his last name is Rick Loff. So everyone just calls him Rick Loff. He loves Adventure Time, which, who the fuck doesn't? <laughs> and Super Smash Bros. Once again, who the fuck doesn't? But you know what he loves more? America. No, he hates America. He loves weed. <laughs> this podcast has changed so much from when we started. It really has. Um, so, what, oh, we can plug the store. Oh, yeah. yeah, we can absolutely plug the store. store, store. The, no, it's not called the Clust Store store. It was, it was, it was called the Clust Store, but then I forgot the password to that account. So, it's called the Clust. <laughs> it's called the Cluster Fox Store now. Shut up, Duncan. Clust Store Fox Store. No, it's called the Cluster Fox Store. Yeah, Clust Store Fox Store is so much better. I understand. Let's take a vote. We'll make another account. Who here wants Clust Store Fox Store? I think it's a little too late, honestly. You fuckers. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> Anyway, now that Jake's done, um, plug in this fucking dog. it's over there. Well, yeah, it's over, it's over there. We, it's gonna be a t-shirt. It's gonna be a t-shirt. This fucking dog is gonna be a t-shirt. Um, if you flip it, it's gone. That is true. Um, so anyway, we have a, we have a Spreadshirt account now. We have um, the, the Cluster Fox store on Spreadshirt. So I think it's clusterfoxstore.spreadshirt.com. I think I don't know. There'll be a link somewhere. I don't know. Social media. Why don't you tweet out a link? And stop, stop sending kitty porn to people. Thank you. Although I do appreciate it. Is it going to be right I don't care. He's always 12 to me. No, you can't annotate non-YouTube links in a YouTube video. What? So you're going to edit this part out right now. No, I'm just explaining this. No, because you guys look stupid. No, no, So we can have like a slip of paper just appear right here like. Nothing's going to appear there. Nothing. No, yeah. What, what about that thing that's like click here? Yeah, that's for a YouTube video. The, the in in video annotations can only be videos. What is this going on? This YouTube. Like, it's it, we're boys. Put an annotation right over Duncan's head. I again, you can't put an annotation to a spreadsheet. Like, what I think is when we name the YouTube video, we should import in the link right in front of us. Jake's making no sense. Does anybody understand what the fuck he's talking about? Well, the link where we put our arms. <laughs> that sounds good work. What the what? fuck are you talking about? He de- he's making no You're making no sense. Where we put our arms, we make the link. You can't do that, though. Jake, I'm trying to explain something to you. If we wanted to put a link, we can't put a link to Spreadshirt.com on YouTube.com. No, no, but if we wanted to, we could... F- do it. Four times. This is Jake's first and last appearance on the podcast. He'll never be on ever again. Put a link to uh, the dot org. <laughs> the what? The dot org put instead. Put a link to www.meetspin. Yeah, uh, no. The problem Fuck is maybe we don't get the link name right. That way there's no copyright. Can we move on? I think it's, and now it's just de- evol- It's just devolved into like people just trying to fuck with. What about I'm so sorry. I threw that away. I don't know where that yeah. is. Yeah. Um, so. Hey, PR, do you want to hand me that list? PR, why don't you stop looking up small children who were famous in the mid 2000s and, like, wake the fuck up? Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, we have, we have a spreadsheet. What do we have? Like, 10 shirts on there right now, you'd say? 10? Uh, eight. Eight. It's eight. one, two, three, eight. four, five, eight. six. Eight. One of them's the jacket, the Debbie Webby jacket. The Debbie Webby jacket. If anybody buys the Debbie Webby jacket, um, oh, the, that'd be fantastic. Yes. We have, um, yeah, so we have eight shirts on there. We'll put a link somewhere. Go check them out. They're pretty affordable. I think half of them are under $10. So well, as, of now, but as of now, but we don't know what the shipping's like. We haven't tried to order one yet. So I guess this was kind of, this was kind of stupid to plug it. We didn't do our research. Whatever. Go buy, go buy the shirts. Whatever. Right here. There's no link. There's absolutely no link. I have to stress that. There will, Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell that we're all completely sober? Okay. Actually, I am. 
Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. It's it, it, you, you, you. Well, the, the way you said it made it sound like we're all not. Whatever. Who cares? You don't understand how sarcasm works because you just Isn't that kind of funny? you used it wrong. Form. <laughs> that's Dylan. She's 11. Fuck her. Anyway. Yeah, I, 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 she's a le she's a lesbian fucker. Nice. Yeah, Dylan just came out through us. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? She's like she's like pointing at me like she's like marking me for death or something. Like she's a small tribal like a pygmy who's like marking me for death but doesn't know English. So she's just looking at me and like making a cutthroat sign. It's a map. To um, bin Laden. It, it's a it's a map. It's a map to Bin Laden. That's what was just said. <laughs> bin Laden. Yes. All right, um, no, let's talk about this third one. I really <laughs> like that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can I actually see the list in all seriousness? Are there, are there the remaining? Oh, that's this is this is how we come up for notes. All right, Devin's having a fucking aneurysm. Um, so this is how we come up for notes of the podcast. I'm gonna skip a couple of these. Um, so we're gonna skip over. Don, John, do you want to talk about train adventures? You have train sure, adventures I, on here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, train adventures are just fucking. So, let, so let's. So I'm gonna pass this to John. Oh wait, will wait you no, you no, you probably have some train adventures. No 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 no. Okay, this goes back to Thanksgiving break. I had a six and a half hour train ride back home to Connecticut. I was on Amtrak. We almost <laughs> shared a cab, except you had a different train than I did. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was that was the problem. But um, I have the incredible luck of sitting next to very interesting characters on trains. Um, on my way down, I sat next to this guy named Tim, actually. And I, sat, I had to sit next to this guy for like three hours, and he didn't say a word to me until like I finally like... Go ahead, keep talking. Until like maybe around half hour before my stop. And he just looks over to me and he goes, Do you want to learn about the chakras of the world? <laughs> what? I shit you not. I I talked to this guy for a half hour, and he's talking to me about like the sacred geometries of life, and how everyone is connected through string theory and meditation. Okay, okay, okay. Is the secret trapezoids? Uh, a different form of rhombus. Yes. It sounds like that TV show. What TV show? The one with Keeper Sutherland. Touch or something? Where everyone's, everyone's connected. I don't know. I don't watch that so much TV. Anyway, another train adventure that I had was on the way back to school. I was in the handicap area. Why? <laughs> it was by accident. <laughs> um, but for those of you who don't know what the handicapped area of a train is, it's just literally just a row of seats and just empty space it's so the people smallest part of the train. no it's not it's Think so room i had leg room and i was <laughs> so what I just said. oh it's a short bus <laughs> joke yes. i get it i get it now he's insensitive um <laughs> so a handicapped person probably didn't have a seat because you were sitting there. yeah you evil bastard it wasn't just me it was this other kid who goes to our school i see him occasionally and i want to say hi he wasn't <laughs> anyway um so it was me and this kid and then there's just this guy standing in like the just the empty space and that's where everyone was like putting their luggage and there were seats behind us but for some reason, this kid decided to make a throne out of all the luggage, and he rode for five and a half hours in his throne of luggage. That is awesome. It was it other people's luggage? It was other people's luggage. He had, like, one, like, blue bag that he threw up on, like, the, uh, whatever you call it, the overhead compartment. Yeah. And he just used other people's luggage to make a seat. It was... That's incredible. Pretty awesome. I feel like all their luggage would have smelled so bad. From flatulence. Yeah, probably. This kid did look like he smelled. Really? <laughs> I, did he, uh, does he come to Champlain? I don't know. I haven't seen him around, but just, oh, I saw a lot of kids from Champlain on that train that I don't talk to because they They're scare me. <laughs> yeah. And, they, and they, they were pissed about your <laughs> They just come back into the car to see me, just be like, fuck you, man. Oh, I could. 
Were we going to talk about the the um, me and you becoming priests? We can talk about that. Okay, we can talk about that. How did that? How did that start? Um, that came. I, was, I think I was just like on my phone and I saw like a thing that was like, well, we were talking about um, the Big Lebowski for some reason. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know how, but I found a, a link that you could become a Dudist priest. So me and John did that, and it's I don't know, it's pretty cool. We're we're ordained. It says we can like do. We can yeah, we can do weddings, and I think we can do funerals. I don't know what we do, but yeah, it's pretty legit. It's, it's, I have a certificate. Can you give last rites? Yeah, we can. Probably. Really? We do everything that regular like Christian priests do, but, but just we just go like, hey, man, he died as he lived. Fuck it. You probably have more power than a Scientologist priest. I do. Do you actually? Do. Did you look that up? Scientology is a business. Dudism is a religion. That's, no, that's true. this has nothing to do with nudism. No. A little Not bit. yet. A little bit. You just, Not you just gotta keep Have it you chill. Seen, you, you've seen how Jeff Bridges sits in that movie, right? Yes. He, for those of you who haven't seen it, he sits a lot like this. Oh, I love lot. something like that. And he's in shorts, so they usually come up to right around here, so you get a good shot of the junk. Oh, yeah. I didn't he like this. Anyway, Duncan like, hasn't seen the Big Lebowski. Yeah, no, I haven't, which is really weird because I have it downstairs in my room. And I, uh, I don't know, I've just never gotten to watching it. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You know what, me? <laughs> we can talk about what you just did, Jake. I, I thought he was at the point where his hood was about to be tracked up and get lost forever. So I tried to save it, but there's a ball on it. <laughs> I was looking out for him. Okay. No, I, I appreciate that, Jake. Yeah, no, yeah. Nice. Put your phone away. Damn. Like, you unprofessional swine. Yeah, I know. Off, off the show. God. Like you're such a guy. son of a Get rid of him. Zach. What was that, John? This is why Billy's the idea guy and the real leader of the Cluster Fox. Yeah, give me the And now we see how that works. Good luck editing this. <laughs> Trump card. You do come up with very little. I mean, you wrote the script, to be fair. But the main ideas program, always stem from either me, Billy, Devin. Thanks, fuckface. And I get sometimes. Never, John. Sometimes. No, no, he came up with the nosing one. Yeah. So, yeah, and um, too, but you. And black eye insurance, and. That was you? Yeah. Oh. You came up with black you know, eye insurance? Yeah. So you can take the fall for that once, you know, the NAACP <laughs> yeah, comes and I, tries to kill us. I busted yeah. Oh, him. <laughs> yeah, they're going to. They're gonna bust down the door. Speaking yeah. of the one, though. You, okay, so you know how uh, Kamal was one of the targets in that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. He loved that, actually. Uh, he watched the episode and absolutely loved it. He didn't give a shit. But the funny thing was, today, for the first time ever, someone came to my room looking for Kamal, and he wasn't there. Hmm. So, like, the, the, the first time uh, while I've lived there, someone came into the room being like, yo, where the hell is Kamal? And I was like, this is mind-blowing. <laughs> he's needed and he's not here. Which, granted, I wasn't really surprised about because, like, it, it's long overdue. Who's that girl? You're never there. No, it was Austin. Oh. Austin. Oh, yeah, he's part of a green, uh, game jam. Yeah. Oh, there's a game jam? Oh, that's not game jam this one weekend, one. guys. Game jam. Yeah, and, uh, come you know what that means. The but, that, put the mic away for a second. Zach, you know what that means. Um, so where were we before the Kamal? Oh, the fact that I don't come up with any of the ideas. Um, that's, that's, that's true. I would say that's true. That I don't, I don't really come up with most of the, the, the creative genius around here. What my... would have happened without you, Zach, so. Exactly. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, that was the most backhanded round of applause ever. That was, that was really just to spite me, I think. Yeah. You guys are all sacks of shit, and I hate I'm you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. Case safari. Anyway. Gay safari? You want to call... I'm so sorry, gay safari. I'm so sorry, gay safari. That is now that is now a t-shirt. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. I'm so... No, I'm so sorry. Is he's in sorry? Now we're just getting, we're oh, getting lost. We could get a fan base oh, by sorry, sending him that shirt. 
and then Kanye. he'd wear it on Ka- in front of Kanye and on Parks and Recreation. Dude, Kanye sold a fucking white t-shirt for like $100. Oh, just send me that Did he wear it? Dylan, you have a 949 area code? <laughs> if anybody... <laughs> <laughs> it's now i just like to show show this for a second this is what i was just sent this i was handing the mic to i believe duncan and it was snapchatted into a penis coming semen uh can i just walk this in for you real quick can, can you see that can you see it can you see it it's too bright all right let me turn on the brightness one. This takes a second. All right, here we go. What are you doing? Don't look at my porn. Stepping on the cards. Stepping on the cards. No. The no. Car. What? Did you miss it? It's right here. Can you not see it? Really? You got it. Wonderful. You want to see it? And of course, Jake's gonna critique the color of the semen. That goes back to Article Three on that list of topics um, uh, no, that we won't cover. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe for another podcast. No, maybe. Maybe that's that's like the that's the After Dark podcast. What? Oh, don't worry. Your your four is safe. Um, yeah, your number four is cool. Let's take a look. Oh, can we talk about Billy's hot friends on Skype? Oh my god! Of course we oh can. my god! Let's I was so surprised. Let's I think we were all surprised when it we wasn't walked Skype. in. It was Skype. Yeah. Okay. What? Oh no! It was Facebook. No, it was, it was Facebook. It was Facebook. I was so proud of Billy. Should I be here for this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to. It's yeah. about you. You can. You can. What? What? How far? How long ago was this? Just last week or something? something like that. It was earlier this week. Was it, it was that you were? <laughs> Okay, so our Billy here um, was on Skype with these two very attractive girls that he's friends with back home. So I come into the common room. Let's hope they don't watch this, Billy. Billy, send this to your friends. I really hope your friends watch this. Yeah, that'd be funny. Um, I, I, I don't even want to talk anymore. That was just it. <laughs> I Facebook chatted Devin's friend from back home. What? I'm so sorry, Devin. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Can, can we get a, what, what, what did you say? Um, I said, uh, Devin is good guy. He likes Batman. Uh, <laughs> he he no knows I behind him. He he good man. And then she said, I'm freaked out. Please leave. <laughs> and then Jake's girlfriend or ex girlfriend. <laughs> Let's hope she watches this. What were we talking about again? Just pass it back on one. Figure it out. Somebody will, it'll hit somebody eventually. Hi, I'm Jake. <laughs> Guys, we are Get 43 minutes in. 43 minutes? Fantastic. Are we still recording? Give me a thumbs up. Now show me your nipple. Perfect. Um. <laughs> Let's see what else we can talk about. Let's talk about video games because why the fuck not? If you guys haven't, oh wait, they've the same initials. Yeah, I know. That's the point. Let's talk about what we're playing. Yeah, what what are we what are we playing lately? What's what what's tickling everybody's fancy? Rick, Assassin's Creed Four. Yeah. Assassin's Creed Four. Risk. No, I can't. Would you? Oh, Rust. Oh, let, 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 let's talk about Rust for a second. Um, uh, it's a game that everybody should play. Oh, uh, Billy has something to say. There was another update to Rust today. Um, <coughs> there's pass passwords on the doors so you can let your friends in. That's um, and a couple other things. That's a game changer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Why couldn't we thought of that before they did it? Well, because we we don't make the game, Jake. They make the game. Right. <laughs> Link. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It should be more fun now. Link in comments. And apparently they're adding more be- like beds and stuff. But we didn't even know how to use the beds, but apparently they have a purpose. Uh, you have sex on them. 
There, you can like you like no, set I have your no spawn idea on the, the beds. Fuck ro- rust is. It's a, it's a video game. Is it about my dick? It sounds like or, a rusty dick. Well, yeah. Why is your dick rusty, Duncan? Don't judge me. I do what I want. Actually, okay, okay, okay. Clearly. Billy, you smart motherfucker. Masturbation, <laughs> Okay. We're just so sorry, gay safari. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hang on, stop rubbing me, son. Just, stop rubbing me. Anyway, <laughs> let's see if we have anything else on here. Uh, train adventures, plug in for t-shirts, um, fail movies idea, creation, closer fox, um, pirates and priests. We kind of <laughs> talked about all this stuff. Key and Peele? Anybody have any Key and Peele stuff? I don't know why that's on here. I don't know. Yeah, we talk a lot about Key and Peele here. Okay, that's because they're fucking hilarious. They, they are. They are fucking hilarious. I hope that they watch. I don't Hingle like Kringleberry. Yeah, I I go by Hingle McCringleberry on Steam, guys. If you want to hit me up, it's Hingle McCringleberry. Um, I, I play I play games. I think everyone who's gonna watch this already knows your Steam. <laughs> I was gonna. It's fully underscore erect underscore penis p a i n i s. Um, it's <laughs> an inside joke. Um. But yeah, no, so anyway, uh, anybody else want to speak to Key and Peel? I mean, I would like to speak to Key and Peel, but anybody want to talk about them? Um. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> terrifying. Uh. Hey, watch Snapchat. Then. I don't know about Key and Peel. I mean, I think that they're just a good model for what these fucking guys should be. Just a very clever, kind of stupid sometimes sketch show with challenges. But Keen Peel doesn't have challenges at all. Well, yeah, no, but I was describing these fucking guys. I mean, these fucking guys is nothing clever. Just everything is stupid. Hey, no, well, it's all, we'll get to the clever stuff later. Is with our interaction. Of this movie. All I know is that Do you want me to at some point, I really hope that we can have a guest appearance from Tyler the Creator or a Tyler the Creator you lookalike. You'll be the main character, but you need to help me write it and we can pump it out. Deal. Because my computer broke. All I know is our show's got <laughs> sus. Our show has got sus. No, let's, we're not going to sus. Yo, we got sus. Come on. Uh, we got- next week, we're actually going to have Tages on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that is false. We will not have Tages. Tages will not be here. Um, he walks right in. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> let's see what else we got here. I'm trying to think. Um, I dreamed a dream. My phone's going off. My phone's going off right now because there are t- two undesirables off the side causing a fucking rocket starring our show. For meetings, he's the, the yeah. one that we have a year, he's here. Who? The one hall meeting. He was in the hallway, though. Yeah, he wasn't even, he wasn't even in the room. He wasn't even in the room. It was him, and he's taking uh, a shower in there. I know that for a fact. Because he's yeah. right here. Be- no. He's taken. Uh, he's taken. Let's hope he doesn't watch this, but his girlfriend showers in there. And it's just, it's strange for me. Remember that time? What were we doing? Why is it strange? Oh, oh she walked so We were reading this. We were, reading, we were reading the script for um, Gilded, Gilded Promise, Promise, which R.I.P. And it was like basically everyone in the, everyone here and like Rio was there and some other people were there, and we were like reading the script and it was like someone someone oh was in like a monologue. Oh my god! And we and we were we've been interrupted because people open the door and come in and we were getting pretty upset and like Zach like freaks out. He did he's done a couple times this episode and like the the door just opened and we were like looked up. Because oh, we were like, all yeah, because we were like at the last straw because we've been doing it for like an hour. And then we were just, we went dead silent and like watched her made popcorn and we we're just like looking around at each other. It's funny. And all I, 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 Stop I, it. I got sent the naked picture. <laughs> now I'm less special. Okay, but I, I have a Gilded Promise. Oh, I, I have a Gilded Promise story. Uh, it's also another script read because that's all we did. Um, <laughs> it was... After I had an adventure with Ryan downstairs, Mimi, Nathaniel, and Sammy. Well, wherever were you adventuring to? McDonald's. The land of Gotcha? <laughs> 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 um, but I came back a little out there. What does that mean? Smoking weed! Yeah, I smoked weed. Incriminating. <laughs> Incriminating. Um, anyway, so I came back here for a script read. And I forget what Jake said, but it was so fucking funny that I died. And then all of a sudden, I reach my hand out, and I feel the wall. 
And I just start petting the wall for like a good like 15 minutes, not focusing on anything besides just doing that. And that's on foot. Do you still have that? What? The, me petting the wall doing the scripture. Oh. I believe everything. <laughs> it made him too sad to watch Gilded Cross stuff. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, I've deleted everything for Gilded Promise. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't because exist. We, we wouldn't even be able to post it because we don't have rights. Right. We don't. We don't own the movie anymore. It's not owned by me. Like the it self-destructed. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, it literally gives you a countdown to four days. It's like this page will be deleted in four days, and you're like, it's a little bit sad. <laughs> like you just could. I I guess, but like. I, I want to delete it. Yeah. 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 But any but the, the 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 big thing from that is now that we have we have more time to dedicate to these fucking guys. I think that's I think that's the silver lining here. No, well the problem is right now with these fucking guys is it's so cold outside that no one's out. So we can't really it's going to be tough yeah. when it's all in the dorm. Right. Right. Yeah, our episodes right now are completely localized in our dorm, which gets a little bit tough especially when you uh, basically, I have a premiere of episode one in front of everybody. So there's. We could do it in other buildings. Like, yeah, we absolutely could do it in other buildings. No, I'm saying we could do a we can do a calf episode. I see. I just or don't. We can IDX is literally everyone watch. Yeah. Fireside Lounge would be. Fireside, Fireside might be a, a a way to go. Yeah. But we can pull it off. Yeah. yeah. The hub. Just right at that yeah. desk. Annoy the mm-hmm. fuck out of Ben. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, 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 you should do something We could get Ben in it and then pose, like, be employees and, like, sit behind the desk when people come for help. But you just, like, spew nonsense at them. Uh, yeah. We'll work on that. What the fuck is that? We're gonna get kicked out of the fucking gym. Are are you guys gonna jerk each other off now, or? No, 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 it's an idea. It may... it may or may not appear. I, no, I don't. I don't want to tell you. Right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Uh, Devin, what's, what what time are we at right now? Two minutes. Two minutes left. Fifty-two. Oh, 52 see, us as Jews, we communicate <laughs> <laughs> like sonar, like bats, like Jew, like Jew it's sonar. Like hidden in the nose. It's hidden in the nose, like sonar. So it's like, <laughs> and it just launches. <laughs> That's offensive to me. That's so, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just saw Duncan's vinegar strokes. Um, so that's two people tonight. Yeah, you don't know what a vinegar stroke is? No. Your face well, as you, a vinegar do. stroke is your face as you um, ejaculate. So it looks, it's a face kind of like if someone were to take a spoon of vinegar and put it under your nose. So it's like, yes, but perfect example. Well, tongue, 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 back in there. And that's, <laughs> that's, put that tongue back in your mouth. It's, that's what, god what damn it. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. We came into this with the purest intentions. We really did. We've had a bowl almost lit on, on here. We've had naked pictures of kids who were famous in 2006. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hang on, I, I've been told to check my phone. This might be a brilliant thing to end on. The fuck that Shia LaBeouf's penis! No! Stop sending me penises! That's a music video. Stop sending me penises! Wait, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, That's Shia LaBeouf? Yeah, look at he him. He looks like Moses or something. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, no, he grew his hair Let my penis go. <laughs> Let my semen go. Oh. Oh, oh I like that one. Because he's got that great schlong, that's why. Look at that. He's got the perfect amount of pubic hair. What? He went fucking nuts. And he's retired. He's retired. Did you know that he once called his mom hotter than a Playboy Bunny? He called his mother hotter than a Playboy Bunny? I think I'm... Did you know once that I jerked off to Shia LaBeouf's mom? Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. What's with you and jerking off? I'm hotter than a Playboy Bunny. Kill it, human. kill it, yeah. kill the fire. Right there. Wave, everybody wave. I hate it every second of this. Ah!